How's it going YouTube? Captain OJ here, back from my, uh, I guess, two, three week hiatus. Um, I've actually been playing with a few different decks, trying to get them link ready and whatever else. One of the decks that I've been having a really hard time with is my DDDs. Um, I'm still very determined to get this thing Torment ready, and it's still not that bad. I've actually been able to get a good amount of combos off, and because of the new additions and, well, because of the ban list too, we don't, uh, we still have Gofu and whatever else. So anyways, I'm going to get to the deck, I'll explain a few of my different choices and how it's still very combo based and it's still very delicate, it's fragile, especially in this format, because you know, all the hand traps and whatever else. Anyways, I'll get to my uh, my deck profile now. Alright, so, like usual, we're going to go with the, the main deck, then the extra, then the side. Take this away. So like every, I'll start off with the standard stuff. You need three Keplers, Kepler searches for your, your dark contracts. You need three Lamia, is your main tuner in the deck, but I started using some of the newer uh, DDD support. So Lamia, sure, it's still your main uh, your main uh, tuner, but there are you have different options in this variant. You still run three Necro Slime. Uh, because of the way the deck runs, you need it. It's uh, it still it continues your combo piece. It, it's, ugh, it's more combo pieces. Your combo starter, DD Swirl Slime. You guys know what this does, and this does, and you banish it from your graveyard. Well, it helps. What if I don't know what it does? Uh, all right, then I'll explain it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, fusion from hand, and you can banish it from the graveyard to get one of your DD monsters uh, to the field. And uh, most of the time, you're going to be using it on Ragnarok or on Kepler. Kepler to search for something, or uh, Ragnarok's a special summon from the grave. Speaking of Ragnarok. You got the three of them? Oh, speaking of which, I got the Swirl Slime and Ragnarok all hollowed out. So, mm. oh yeah, I'm proud of that. <laughs> Ragnarok, like usual, is one of your combo extenders. It's, nowadays, it's, you can either keep him in hand or in scale. Uh, lately, I've been putting him in scale to get his, um, just to get your combos rolling a bit faster. Because in hand, I find you have to have already done your combos and you have to have resource in the, resources in the graveyard in order to really use them. So I find in scale, he's been more uh, useful. <clears throat> Anyways, continuing, I got I run two DD Ghost. I don't run um, what do you call it, um, Side Frame Lord Omega anymore because this guy more or less facilitates the same re, uh, thing. If it's banished, you're more than likely with a lower or by fusing it with other things, uh, you can recycle some of your uh, banished DD cards. But anyways, I really like that because you bring back your Swirl Slime, you bring back your Necro Slime, your hey, all your other uh, stuff, so you can keep going, uh, keep your combos going. I still play two Orthos. Orthos is actually really, really good in this deck now. Not just for back row destruction, but you actually can use them to synchro up into the level 10s. Um, there, I'll, I'll get to that in, uh, in a, a bit. He's a four tuner. Yeah, he's a level four tuner. The only crappy part is when he's special summoned, you can only synchro into fiend type monsters. But if you do that, chances are it's at the end of your combo and you're going into the big guy anyways. <laughs> so it's not so bad, but it does hurt. It does, um, it restricts your combos. Because we still have him, you have to run Gofu in, the, in, the, in a DDD deck. You cannot run a DDD deck without him. Uh, it's an, essentially, it's an instant deco talker, and yeah, then it gives you an extra four cards in hand, four, five, or yeah, four or five cards depending what you drew. Uh, Question. Yeah. What happens if Goku get, Gofu gets hit? Gofu gets hit, then at that point, I was actually contemplating on using the, uh, what do you call it, Predaplant engine. Mm. Because, the pre sure, the Predaplant engine has a. It, you need to run the low fire blossoms and whatever else, but it's still essentially a one card or yeah, one card, one sorry, two card um, deco talker. Mm -hmm. So at least at that point, you can get your plays going from there still, and you deck thin, so you can get to the stuff that you need sooner. Anyways, mm -hmm. now to the spells. You okay, it's yeah. good. Yeah, it's just a little yeah, cool. There's now for the spells. Still use three dark contract with the uh, with the gate. It's a uh, still a staple. I still run two Dark Contract with the Swamp King. I was contemplating on running a third, but because of the links, it's, it's hard to keep your combos going with more... Um, and a lot of times they clog, because it's a hard once per turn with the effect. Mm -hmm. For draw power, you still run the three Allures. One Upstart. <laughs> I still run the uh, three Into the Voids. One uh, minor change that I did do to it, I got three uh, Pot of Desires instead of two now. Um, the idea behind it was that I wanted to try to simplify the deck. I wanted to run as many 3 ups as possible so that if I do run Desires, I can either banish multiples of it or get into more uh, resources or more draw power or whatever else. 
You had to make it the secret one. Yeah, that I had to make it secret. <laughs> None of this ultra rare bullcrap. Yeah. <laughs> and all my and my other decks maybe, but this is my tournament deck. It's my baby. Mm. And I had to I had to go all out on this. <laughs> Gotta show off. Yeah. Uh, one one for one still because it's limited. Uh, another difference change that I did to it of to this deck was uh, refusion. Refusion once again it actually really helps with your uh, uh, combos. You know, you already you you fusion up to Genghis, you normal summon Lambia, synchro into Alexander. Activate this, you bring your Genghis back, and then it activates Alexander's effect, brings Lamia back. You can just keep your combos going unless you want to link from there. But still, I find Refusion is really, really helpful in here. I decided not to run Soul Charge mainly because I find Soul Charge, you're, if you're using Soul Charge, you're going for a big board and you're trying to get your links up and whatever else right away, and you're using a lot of your life points. And in this deck, you spend a lot of life points as it is. Mm -hmm. Either with Ragnarok in scale or with your Dark Contracts in the back row. And it hurts you enough as it is to even pay 800 life points. Mm -hmm. So the way I see it is that Refusion is the better alternative. Sure, you have it, you can only really use it when after a Fusion Summon, but normally it's easy enough for you to Fusion Summon and then just get your combos going. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I find Soul Charge is either a blowout card or shoots you right in the foot. Because then, if they break your board that you just built, then you're practically yeah. Then, then there was no then there was no point in using soul charge to begin with. <laughs> so, anyways, so that's the main deck. No traps. No traps. <laughs> yeah, no traps because it's a very combo heavy deck, and you mm. need to get your uh, combo pieces going. Mm. So, I actually played the three uh, tokens just for the hell of it because you know it's fun, and I use them for the GoFu play. Uh, my two link monsters are uh, Deco Talker and Proxy Dragon. Hope, actually, what I'm really hoping for is um, I know that uh, Burning Abyss um, Link Monster has been announced, and I'm hoping that it's a generic Dark Monster required for it. So I'm hoping, <laughs> but uh, we'll see what happens. But if not, oh well. I, I know that, that's what like a lot of the decks need is like, a generic yeah, Dark Monster. But that would be really helpful with this deck, a generic Dark Link Monster mm -hmm. that points down or two to the uh, two backwards. Yeah, kind of like Deco. Yeah, kind of like Deco, but without the top. Mm -hmm. But anyways, back to the fusions, like usual, 2DD Genghis. I'm waiting for the new Genghis, but I don't know when it's coming out. I know any Just DDD get the player... OG one. Oh. <laughs> if, if DDD players like really watch this, you guys know my pain. We need the big Genghis to really get our combos going. They probably knew that, you know why? That's probably they knew that, like, you know what, DDDs could actually wreck. Yeah. I'll give him that guy. <laughs> <laughs> DD, uh, DRK used to only play one. One Dragon King uh, Beowulf. He's good, but I might be changing him out for um, the big Genghis when we get him, or I would be changing out one of the other Synchro Monsters. But uh, we'll see what happens when we get there. The new big Synchro? At first I thought this guy was crap, in all honesty. He's <laughs> garbage. <laughs> but then when I realized his effect is actually not bad, uh, your opponent targets a Pendulum monster they control, and all other monsters they control lose their effects for that turn. <laughs> so, even if they don't have that Pendulum monster, all of their monsters essentially get uh, their effects negated <laughs> and I think it's uh, you get the uh, protection from uh, yeah. card destruction yeah so that's it he's actually not bad and he's a 3k beater you know that's it's it's just, that's always how fun to have yeah. he looks so cool too and he looks half decent too <laughs> um, Beals at the moment Miles. you at the moment you have to run Beals because of true Draco and yeah. Zodiacs because they're assholes Did you want to get the bigger one in here too? I know I wanted to actually try the bigger one Beals us the Beals. yeah Beals us but uh, I'm actually having a very difficult time getting a hold of him. Mm. For combo extenders in the level 7s, you still need to run Meteor Burst because, like I said, it's a combo extender. It helps get your um, like your Ragnarok from the scale to the field. Your field um, when he hits the board, he brings back another DDD monster from the graveyard. So it's just good to have him in there. And then same thing with this. It's a combo extender. You don't really use him too much for anything other than synchroing up into like either a Crystal Wing or a, a Siegfried. I still run uh, Crystal Wing, but I was actually contemplating on taking it out, mainly because it just takes so much resources to get them out. And then once, if your opponent has a Kaiju or something, then it's <laughs> like all, all the resources you just went to the grave are, are gone and you have nothing really to show for it. At least when you use Siegfried, you can bring them back relatively easy. Yeah, so well, that's, Siegfried is just all, he's fucking Yeah, badass. Siegfried is awesome. Now, I still play... The two rank eights, Hope Harbinger and uh, Duo Donkin Kaliuga. Uh, Kaliuga is just a staple in the deck. It negates all of uh, card effects on the board and whatever Bam. else. 
Yeah, whip, once all, you, whip all your dick after that. Yeah. Bam. There's no stopping it once it's on board. <laughs> Hope Harbinger, coming right at me. <laughs> Hope Harbinger, you know, negates a spell and redirects attack. It's always good. And he's a 3 KP stick. But the one card I actually really, really started liking, and nobody realizes it, is oh. Wave High King Caesar. Yeah, now, broken. Broken. Now, the reason why I really like him is he's relatively easy to get out. Instead of going uh, with your main combo, if you get a Deco Talker, you can also get a Siegfried. Or and him, or Siegfried and a Crystal Wing, or it, it all really that, depends on the, the. Even that is deadly. With yeah, that card. but with this guy, what he does is he can negate special summons, not uh, inherent special summons, but like um, <laughs> monster effect, spell, or trap effects that special summon monsters, and it's not once per turn. <laughs> That's what makes this guy fucking deadly. <laughs> I went up against a World Chalice guy, and then like when his buddy was looking at it. And he was like, dude, just scoop. There's, there's no hope for you once this guy hits the board. <laughs> because his effect's not once per turn, and he boosts himself and another DDD monster mm -hmm. by 1800 attack. And if he does that twice, th th there's no hope. That, th <laughs> that th th the game's done. <laughs> just pack it kaiju. up, man. I, can, can he, can he, he can negate a kaiju, eh? Uh, no, because he gets tributed for it. Oh, okay, so yeah. you get but still though, this guy is absolutely deadly and then when he does leave the field, so say you have the uh, deco talker stop a targeting effect, when he leaves the field you search for a dark contract. What's not to like? <laughs> you know, it's, it's, I, I, I really really started liking this guy and I almost like want to get this guy out every turn I can. Yeah. So anyways, that's the new uh, side deck for the, su or sorry, that's the extra. Yeah, extra. <clears throat> for the, the side, I changed it up a little bit more. I got the, the going second package, uh, <laughs> board wipes, right yeah. Um, it all depends on how, what the um, the matchup is. Like I would run that for true Dracos, uh, not true Dracos, um, any like special summon heavy deck, Zodiac. like Zodiacs mainly. Um, dark, I only want to run Dark Contract with the errors because in case of trap heavy decks and it negates all trap effects on board, what's not to like about it. More special summon heavy decks, uh, especially if it's not a dark, then it, it's, you know, you kind of lock them out. Mm. And for the rest of it, it's mainly just hand traps. Ghost Ogres, because mm. it's Ghost Ogres. This might be Ash Blossom, but I don't know, I really like and Droll and Lockbird, Droll and Lockbird more, because it stops all yeah. uh, cards going Ash back Blossom to your hand. Once. Yeah, but Ash Blossom, um, I guess it's a bit more flexible, but this will stop anything else going to your opponent's hand. Mm. So, I don't know, it, 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 to each his own at that point. <laughs> uh, for Zodiacs and Graveyard-centric decks, DD Crow. Mm. Um, I was thinking of putting in um, Full Force Virus back in here, but it... Oh, what the fuck? No, I was, was recording. It was just like the last part. Okay. The Full Force. No, I was thinking of putting a Full Force Virus back into this thing, but it's, it's very hard to run traps in this deck now because it's still very combo-based. And... Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's why I tried to run hand trap so that I can be reactive on my opponent's turn without actually setting anything. So it all depends on the matchup really for the hand traps, but we'll see what happens in the future. Anyways, I hope you guys like the uh, the new DDD deck profile. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you guys got any advice, please let me know in the comments below, and we'll see you in the comments. Later. Didn't care what beat out.